Well, today is day one of being 100% off the grid and we're getting set up. And I've already gotten sunburn. <laughs> yeah, I got a little sunburn on my arms. That's where we're all covered up, even though it's like 75 degrees today. So we have three generators to do oil changes on. Technically two of them are brand new, so we're just putting oil and gas in them. But this other one is about as old as us that we got from my parents. So we're gonna change the oil in that. Today we just really need to get the EcoFlow charging. We have, uh, that is our, our only source of power right now because these generators aren't operational yet. So once we have these generators operational, we'll be doing a little bit better. Yep, and once we get our solar panels set up, we'll yeah. be real good. That'll be much better. We'll, Right now, we just got to find the wire for the solar panels, and I think that's in storage in Helena. So we should be able to find that this week and have our full-blown solar array going. But right now, we're just drawing about 150 to 200 watts an hour, and it's enough to just run the generator a couple hours a day and, and be able to recharge the EcoFlow. But no one around here, including us, wants to listen to a generator, so we'll be getting to 100% solar very soon. Yep. Our EcoFlow is about two hours of battery left, so we're gonna get to it. <laughs> mm. I know what y'all are thinking, this looks like a giant mess, and you're right. So we're gonna drain the old gas out of the big generator, put oil in the new generators, and start them all up and see how they do. We have like 20 gallons of gas over there that I'd rather have in something other than those tanks that look like they're gonna explode this is just day one wait until you see like day five of what he can make a mess out of right some water tanks We are ready to test the EcoFlow smart generator for the first time. So we just filled up with gas. We've plugged it into the back of the EcoFlow using the extra battery port. I'm gonna hook up propane now. So you're supposed to be able to get, I think, 20 kilowatts worth of power generation off of a small standard propane tank like this. If you have one of the bigger ones, you get four to five times that, so 80 to 100 kilowatts generated which is pretty huge so this has a really nice just propane quick connect that's it you're set um we're gonna go ahead and set it on and i have read no instructions so we're just gonna see how easy this is Yeah, so probably why 
I need to read the instructions. Yep. So after reading the handy dandy instructions, you have to have the battery hooked up before it'll start. At least electrically. I don't know why it wasn't starting the other way. But I don't think. Yeah, maybe there's a choke. I don't know.
So with those three panels just sitting on the ground, we're bringing in about 550 watts an hour. Uh, we are only expilling about 40 watts right now. Um, we just don't have a whole lot of draw, but we do need to get a few things charged. So we're going to let the EcoFlow charge for a few hours, and then hopefully we can charge a few things on the RV. Okay, uh, we just got back from getting a load of 250 gallons of water at my neighbor's. He has a very steep driveway, which makes it just a slightly terrifying. Um, this is all just kind of temporary test stuff. Jerry rigged. Uh, I need to glue this <laughs> section. There's a lot of bad things that, could, that are probably about to happen. But I'm going to try this anyway because uh, we need water. And uh, that's that. So wish me luck. It's not leaking any significant amount, so I must have done something right. Feel it? We are heading to town for the first time since moving up to the property. We have a very long list of supplies to get in terms of plumbing, electrical, food, <laughs> water, all that sort of stuff. So we're, uh, we're going to be in town for a couple hours, but everything should be charging while we're gone and it's all locked up for now. So we'll see you in town. I've been driving around this part of Great Falls a couple of times trying to find a few things. This is like kind of an industrial area. And there's this business called AgriBasics that had all these water tanks outside. And uh, they look like they were used for fertilizer. So I'm like, well, I don't want to drink out of that, but I can uh, use that for our septic tanks to haul our septic with. Called ahead and asked them if they had them for sale. They're like, oh, we give them away for free. I'm like, well, that's interesting. We'll be there to come pick up too. So we come and get them. They say, yeah, grab as many as you want. Um, starting to load them, and you read the label on it, it says RT3, and then it starts saying something about Monsanto Company. And I know that Monsanto produces Roundup. Oops. <sighs> bumpy truck, bumpy road. I know that Monsanto produces uh, Roundup, which is glyphosate, and that stuff is absolutely horrible for anything that's alive. Um, so yeah, really glad I'm not planning on using these for uh, anything other than septic, because, and we might eventually put firewood in them or something like that, just to haul firewood a little bit easier, but uh, very interesting that these are like massive Roundup containers, um, and they had probably, 20 probably like 40 or 50 of them stacked up right there so they uh they're going through some roundup around here for sure must be all the wheat but that's why we eat organic stuff as much as we can so we just got done with stop number three our 
leaving North 40, we got a whole bunch of plumbing supplies so that we will have hot and cold water going to the RV tonight. And a couple other things. Fuel filter for the generator. Some new fuel line. Good stuff like that. Make a quick stop by Walmart, grab some groceries, and hopefully be on our way home soon. I think we made five or six stops today and we still need to swing by the P.O. box on the way home. It's hot and we're gonna head that way. Well, I just went ahead and got a load of gravel and uh, raked up all the debris from the pine trees and pine cones. This is a spot for my new pool. Seven bucks at Walmart. <laughs> it's supposed to be uh, 86 degrees tomorrow so I'm getting it prepped tonight. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do it. <coughs> plan that's the kiddie pool over there struggle bus now loading Notice the rake over here and the lack of boots over there. You notice how that other side is flat? Y'all just got a quick glimpse of the look. What? Y'all just got a quick glimpse of the look. On to the next load. Would you like the four wheeler? No. Okay. Did you put your my zone on? No. I guess you don't need to. So we have quickly learned just how much shade affects these solar panel arrays. And I can tell you, just that little bit in that corner right there will drop your wattage by, I don't know, 100 watts in some cases. It's a strange equation and strange phenomenon. Um, sure if I understood a little bit more about electrical engineering I could explain it but I didn't do well on those classes in college let me just put it that way so in order to get this out of the shade we are 
moving the panels down here. I went ahead and weed whacked this whole area. Let's just give you a look around. And we have a little trail. The wire is running right here, and then I've got a little bit more of an extension that'll go around the panels. That should work just fine. Um, I'm looking at this tree right there, however, and it's obviously going to cast some shade on this in the evening. Um, so we can move, move it maybe a little bit more forward, but we'll adjust the position as we need to. Right now, I just want to get a lot more of the sun in the morning coming from that direction, so it'll go over the sky, and we should get all oh, starting from. It's like seven o'clock in the morning, probably good sun until oh, about an hour from now, probably six o'clock. So, you know, good 11 hours at a thousand watts, 1500 watts. So, that should be more than enough to get us to 100% throughout the day and let us run dishes and charge the RV batteries, do whatever we need to until we have each one of these systems become a little bit more self sufficient. All in all, we're going to keep moving forward. Okay, we just moved the solar array to its new location. It's getting a lot better sun, but it is about to hit the shade since we're getting close to the evening. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Right now we're using right about 230 watts of electricity that should generate anywhere from 400 to 1,000. So far, we are very pleased with their panels and the EcoFlow. We'll uh, check on this in the morning and see how it's doing. It should get a lot better sun most of the day tomorrow and hopefully be able to top off the EcoFlow. Um, but yeah, overall, we're pretty happy with how it all turned out. If you like this video, please uh, leave us a thumbs up. If uh, you have any questions, leave us a comment. And please subscribe if you're interested in this content and follow along on our adventure. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.